Do you want the metro in your city humming like this? Well, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot, fix, and build a better metro system. We're going to use New Zealand as an example, and we are going to get our mass transit bouncing. Look at it. Stick around to find out how. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa. And here we are in New Zealand, our modded city. And today we're going to be working on our train lines. Our trains are super, super busy. There are trains everywhere. There are people everywhere riding bikes to get on the trains. It is so busy. We need to do something. And I wanted just to show you, uh, if we come out of this view and take an overhead view. Here we go. We're outside the train station. And if we just zoom out a little bit, we can see there are so many trains coming in. Now, in our city, this is the only station that allows intercity trains to come in. So for those that don't know, we've got trains that run between stations inside your city. And then the intercity trains are the ones that come from outside of your map. They're sort of imaginary cities that you've never seen and people come in and visit your city. Tourists come in on these ones quite a lot as well. So as we can see, this station, pretty, pretty busy. There are loads of trains coming and going. There's loads of trains queuing up uh, on this line as well. You see all these orange trains, orange trains down here. Now, I just spotted something a little bit odd with all of these orange trains, which are the intercity trains. Uh, let's just click on here and have a look. Ah, zero passengers out of space for 240. What about this one? Ah, zero passengers out of space for 240. What about this one? Ah, zeros. Yeah, you can see where this is going. Um, if we follow this all the way down here, look at all these people just standing around waiting for trains. Uh, this is something we set up on a previous episode. Obviously, we do this with mods. To stop the trains getting in each other's way, we've got a one way in and a one way out. And it works fine, but we just seem to have this problem here with so many people. Um, there's one extra outside connection on the map. Uh, let's just zoom along here. Here we go. We've got the trains coming in and out on these two lines. And this one as well, look, has got all these people building up. They're just coming in in their droves. And I'm pretty sure these are all tourists yeah tourists 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 oh there's a resident there but all the red ones are tourists so there's so many tourists going to different places and then eventually when a train comes along well that's a cargo train so i don't think they're going to be jumping on that train unless they're huckleberry finn nope it's gone let's wait for a passenger train to arrive here we go we're back over at the other side again this train has just arrived Oh, there we go. He's moving off. And what has he got in there? 17 passengers out of two. Why not all of these passengers? I don't know. So uh, these trains are coming in like pretty constant. And they're literally just picking up a bare handful of people. So I wanted to see if I could fix this on camera just in case anybody else has this issue. And also what we're going to do today is I'm thinking of changing out... Um, possibly stopping this being either the only intercity train terminal uh, train station or turning it off here and moving it somewhere else because on this line here we have so many trains let's do it this way we can see that the train line is red going up here and we've got all of our cargo trains and they're all getting mixed into one whereas if we come over here we've got this island and this space here where our main train line comes in and it splits off down here and we could utilize this space access to the highway here nothing else built that could work quite well and then where the other one comes in here uh, these two lines so this one comes down and joins here with this one as well i just want to follow this line i was realize where we are out by the airport yeah so this comes down this comes down here through the mountain comes along here round to the junction we were at before then straight along and then yeah they can come down here this might get super busy but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so i think that's what we're gonna do but first of all i just want to make sure we haven't caused a problem here with our um let's just get our train rail so we've got this one coming in and that one going out whether i just need to monkey with 
a little point to move this one just like you know a little bit like this a little bit back or a little bit forward just to see i think these guys are probably all going to move up whether they're just sort of caught and if resetting them like that yeah this train's a bit unhappy let's just see what that train did zero it might just be they're bugged out and we just need to delete them and start again so let's just watch this one he's picking up eight he seems to want to pick them up here i wonder whether there's any picking them up at one end if we just got this and not moved it back a bit so they're all going to move back again he's thinking hard about driving through that uh there we go yeah they're a bit <laughs> maybe that is the wrong place to put it oh is that quite a few got on there 240 got on this time okay let's wait for the next train hopefully it'll be lined up better than that one you can go now yep there we go thank you next one 167 that is better i think it was where this little node was let's just check one more i mean it's definitely more than the, like the five and stuff we were getting before 240 i think we've solved it i think we've solved it we just there's some sort of inbuilt gaming code that means if this node here is too far away even though we made it further away to fit the train in there we go they got 240 it was too far away to pick up the people so i think we have now solved this build up over here but that's not going to solve the amount of trains that we've got let's just make sure that this all goes down okay well i would definitely say we're sort of keeping up with it um there's not as many people here doing a quick head count one of the in yeah and they're not all tourists now we're getting a mixture although we're not getting any trains coming in now but yeah i think that oh, there we go there's a cargo train um and then what i might just do is make sure in our other connection which is down here there we go actually these seem to be okay now don't they yeah there's not that many there okay that's good well i'm glad we've solved the um <laughs> the huge stampeding problem of too many people over here but i think do you know what i think i just had a thought i like to think you know i like to use my brain on our policies there is a city planning policy that boosts outside connection and you know what funnily enough we don't have it turned on i think that would be maybe even worse because it increases by 20 percent and cost ten thousand a week uh we probably could possibly afford that but i think we'll leave this as it's going and hopefully our trains can keep on top of that but i think the fact we've only got two connections in our entire city is a bit of a problem uh it's a shame see we've got nothing over this side of the map because there's nothing there i mean we could pop in like an underground connection or we could add in i mean this is another option something i'm pretty sure we don't have in our city is this one here the harbor which would just bring people in as well yeah i've just double checked around the city we don't have a harbor so i'm wondering whether adding that in would also help to bring in more tourists via another option i mean of course we do have our airports <laughs> there's not many people coming in via that at all which is rather weird so maybe we'll look at that as well right let's get stuck in to sorting out this area here now which train hmm which train station do we want in here so we've got all of our new ones but these are all quite small um we've got our public transport hubs and we haven't used in this city the multi-platform end station which i think would be very good it's similar sort of in the way it's set up with the glass box transport hub with all the different lines coming in and going out and i'm just thinking is this the best place for that yeah i've changed my mind instead of over here i basically just picked that because there was space there and i thought why not you can see we've got our two connections here and here i'm wondering whether in the middle would be a better spot so this line sort of comes up this way and we can branch off to here this one comes up and goes to the other station we've got but it comes up here and we could branch off and then maybe what will happen is is the trains coming from the outside of our city will sort of split between 
a hub here and a hub up there so i'm thinking this spot down here which will also give us a good transportation connection with our airport our metropolitan airport over here and also our metro plaza station who never wants to keep its name every time i change it to the tarantula station so it's definitely going to be over here um so we need to sort of work on our train lines but let's put this down first so i mean we could have this one actually do you know what because it comes in from two directions yeah let's do that so this is a sunken island platform metro station is that actually connected it is so maybe let's go next to this. We'll leave that one there. We'll just build a little something something out here and then connect to that. I'm going to go with one way roads. So let's get that smack up against there. But if we anarchy that in, it'll work. Let's get right to the end. And we're going to go out like that. Yeah, that'll be good. Is that a... Oh, it's a one lane. I wanted two lane. Let's just change that. There we go. So you can go left and right at the end. That's what I want. Uh, make sure we've still got the giveaway. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, yeah, everything is fine. Good. And then if we pop this off the back here, um, and if we could sort of line that up, yeah, perfectly in the middle, then we've got all these different platforms which we can hook into. Yeah, that'll be good. And I'd like these... Mm, let's just have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm just thinking this is this is going to be complete overkill with the amount of lines that we've got coming in and out of here, with the amount of rails. But I don't mind that, to be honest. Um, I just really like the way this looks. So what I'm going to do is try and hook all these up. Um, I'm going to have this as the main one coming out here. And then we'll just try and hook all of these up to go into here. That actually turned out okay, didn't it? I didn't think that would look... All right, so we've got 1,200 on that side. So let's do the same over here. Hmm. Yeah, something didn't quite match up the same, did it? Oh, let's do that. It looks the same on both sides. Yeah, okay, we're going we're gonna to trust that it is the same. Let's make that uh, 180. There we go. I think that's near enough. And then these two lines... Oh, we need to... It's like a fan, doesn't it? Hmm. Just thinking of tea-related, fan-related... Any names you could think of that sort of reflect this shape? Yeah. Let me know in the comments below. You know what to do. Right. Let's just see if we can hook these up. So this one here is going to have to have a bit of a... Yeah. I think here would be a good place to branch off. Maybe here. So if we sort of go like that and it can come down, can't it? We can always smooth out that slope later. And then I'm wondering whether just to bring this one underground and then to come up there. That might just be the easiest way of doing it. So let's see what we can do. There we go. So something like that would be okay. Let's just smooth this out a bit. We're going to go to our tool up here. This one here, network multi-tool. That's the one. We'll grab the set slope mode and we're going to slope from there to there. Yes, that is quite steep. That is still quite steep. Okay, let's go from here to there. Oh, it can't because it's past there. Mm, yeah, I think we might just need to lift this up a bit. So let's go into tunnel mode. Uh, let's grab that node there. Actually, that can't go any higher, can it, because of the ground. We might just have to live with that. I'll possibly come back and try and level this out a bit but for now let's just get this done so this one over here we want to get underground again and we're going to just spread that out a bit and go down a bit as well there we go just to flatten that out excellent so that's going to come in for that way and then this one here can also split off here and i think go into a tunnel as well it will just keep the lines out of the way and I know I normally don't like to do all my tunnels and things and rails underground. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to go underground? Nope. <laughs> You're going to ever go underground? What's going on? There we go, underground. I know I normally like to keep things above ground where I can see them. It just makes it more interesting. But I know this is going to get super busy under here. So uh, where are we trying to get to? We're trying to get to over there. Uh, with buildings and all sorts of stuff so let's leave ourselves with the space so then we're going to come there i think and just basically go onto there yeah that'll be okay let's just straighten that out yeah 
that's okay. Slips around there, goes down into a tunnel, goes underneath and appears in here. Excellent. So let's give these people some water. They've been very patiently waiting for that. There we go. Um, electricity over here. Yeah, we've got that hooked in, which is great. So they can come out of here. And is there a metro connection on here? There is. We've got that metro and this metro. I'll be honest, that just seems redundant now, doesn't it? So I'm going to remove that one. And let's just connect up to this one instead. Yeah, I need to look at the slopes of all my metro lines again. We'll sort that out. Excellent. So that's now hooked into here. Uh, power has gone. So let's get that in just for now. We'll go for a temporary connection there. Very good. So we've got this one set to be intercity trains, which is good. At the moment, they're probably not going to come flooding in. It's going to take a while for all the people waiting at these two connections yeah to be picked up and go let's check this one over here and for new ones to come in with a different destination needed there we go these aren't too bad look 240 being picked up excellent so you might just need to let that run for a bit so while we're talking about that let's just come back over here i um, had a few comments in the last episode about people not being able to get in here and yes that looks like it people can't turn here uh we okay very good is that because i've set something up wrong let's do a control left click there there we go so now we get a lane coming in that way and this one here is the same yeah there we go so nobody could get in yeah, it's still not turning is it let's do control left click okay we'll do it this way then so we'll add a turn in there and we'll add a turn in not that one this one there we go so people can now get in off of this road was before they must have been taking all these little side roads and things and oh there we go we've got some students in here had a few questions as to why i didn't add that university into this zone which you sort of can do but i wanted to keep uh, my university separate and just have people over here come to this one just uh, just a choice so let's take a look at our tarantula station um i have had some issues with this it doesn't seem like people are coming down here look we've got steps there's nobody in here and there's a lot of metro lines coming and going in fact if we just have a look at our metro lines we can do a little bit of troubleshooting so we've got one two three four five six coming in and out of here so let's have a look and see if we can spot these ones so number one doesn't number two so number two comes in and out of here it has two stops with zero passengers same with number three uh, same with number eight uh, number nine doesn't number 10 same with number 10 uh, number 11 works so we have more vehicles we have some people that's the one that goes to the airport i think at uh, number 12 has lots of people on it and that is at the end okay so what is the problem with these let's have a look at line two first of all so we turn all of those off and just put line two on and we follow that so that comes in here that comes along this way and where does that actually go so it comes up to here and that's it is that the last place it stops at okay so i'm now wondering whether let's take that there we go so this side of the metro doesn't connect anywhere whether we could add another connection in the middle so this line comes straight through the middle here it would just seem silly not to have a metro connection in. I thought we put a metro connection in here. It doesn't look like we did. So maybe we could connect this one up here. Yep, the mayor is going to say we are going to connect up a new metro right in here to make use of this line. Where would good be? A, where, blah, 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 where would be a good spot for it? Yeah, I think this side here is probably about the nearest we're going to get. We've got a school there. Let's turn off anarchy. Yeah, we've got a school right there. So let us hook into that. It's going to change the shape of our lines, which I so meticulously built. But that's fine.
There we go. That wasn't actually as bad a change as I thought. And then we'll give that a second to rejig itself. If I can find the line over here, I can actually add a stop in that direction. And I'm going to add a stop in the other direction as well. But it will let me. There we go. Excellent. They're very happy. So that is now going to give the people here an option to get over to our main metro hub. And also give them an option to come down here where we've got our library, we've got a park, we've got access to all of this good stuff, um, which is nice. Excellent. So hopefully that one will increase. Uh, could we name these as we go along? So that is going to Dean Square. So that is just Tarantula to Dean Square. I think that would be okay. So let's come back into here. And into here, that was number orange, <laughs> metro line number two. So if we just go T to Dean Square, uh, number four, we've got two vehicles on there, uh, one vehicle on there. I'm going to up that as well to, yeah, let's pop two vehicles on there. And we've got some people waiting already. Excellent. Okay, that's good. So we'll leave that one going. Uh, what's the next one to fix? Let's come over here to see. It's easier when we're here. There we go. Excellent. So what's the next one? So this time it's Metro line number three, which starts right there. Uh, that goes all the way out with no other stops. I think that is our problem. We've built these with like going from one place to another place and no stops in between. And that comes all the way out to here underneath. What is that actually connected to? Because it looks like that, that is the the metro connection. Oh, it's above ground, isn't it? That's what it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, of course. So let's go back into this view. Yes, that's fine. So that comes onto this side. Just the way that looks here just looks a bit different. Oh, I've got an underground metro there. I've got an underground metro going there. And then I've got the above metro here. Of course, of course, of course. Does this actually go anywhere else? It does, but I think I've got another line there. So I'll tell you what, let's follow this one back. So that one comes past Lowell Park and here. So could we put a stop in the middle here to service both of these? Because this gets a lot of visitors and this lovely big park as well. And then we've got these tall buildings over here. So lots of shopping and all of that sort of stuff. We've got a gap right there. Let's fill that gap in. So I think if we can fit something here, that would be great. Facing the right direction almost would be better. I don't want the above ground one. I'd like it to come out on a road and sort of face along here. Yeah, I mean, even that isn't quite how I would like it, but it might be that we can make that work. Actually, I'm just moved it over here with the move it mods. And then what I'm going to do is grab this road here and I'm going to move that. Uh, if you can stop jumping around, that would be great. I'm going to move that alongside here as well. And we're going to do it that way. Let's move this up into the middle. And I think that is going to work much better. Let's just pause while we delete this line here. There we go. And then can I move that back a little bit more? Why is it not letting me move it? Grab. There we go. No. Get it third time. There we go. So I'm going to put that there. So that's lined up here nicely. Let's get underground. Connect that up. Let's go straight. Connect that up. Slope too steep. Oh, yeah. We've got all this weirdness with the everything going down too low. Let's go back a bit then and go to there. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. This is probably going to say the same thing. So I'm going to delete that one into there and get to there yeah excellent and then we just need to move our road again yeah that's probably not quite lined up straight but i'm fine with that that's okay um so let's look at our lines there we go the yellow line will sort itself out in a second and then we can add there it is let's add a stop that way and a stop that way so that now gives People down here, access to the shops, access to the academic library. And where else does it come past? It actually comes very close to this line here, but that's a separate one. But we've got this section, which is huge, this place. Should we have a stop down here as well? 
It just seems silly not to have stops now at these all the way along. Again, lots of shopping, lots of stuff going on here. Yeah, so let's utilize this little spot in here. Um, if we go back to our normal above the road, we'll grab a 1U. Yeah, this one here will be okay. Let's go road. Oh, actually, do I want to build off of here? As this is a busy main road. Mm, I feel like I don't want to, but then I also feel like I do want to. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. We'll see how it goes. I may end up moving it. We're going to stop doing that. Thank you. We're going to move that down to there like that. And then we'll make sure that here we've got dedicated lanes going in and anybody coming out of here is giving way. I mean, I could have built it off of this road up here, but I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> we're going to pop this in here. Slope too steep. What is wrong with this piece of land? And level this out up here. And also, we've got a line coming through there. Oh, no, it's further away than you think. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. We're going to pop that right there. We're going to pause the game. You can see the difference in height. Look how low these lines are down there. That is just insane. Okay, let's just delete all of these and hook this up. There we go. I think that's fine. And again, let's add some stops here. Where's the line? There it is. So if we do that, drag that one in. And then we do one going the other way as well. Excellent. They're all happy. And then as it comes up through here, I mean, we're almost at the T-Rangela station. I don't want to add another one there. We've got this one here. So I think that'll be fine. Oh, auto save. Quick sip of tea. Mm. There we go. Um, so we need to rename this. So that is going to be T2. And that's coming all the way over here to this main station. So T to glass, we'll just call that one. Yep, excellent. There we go. And what have we got on there? We've got, oh, look, that other one we did, look, already got 84 on it. Fantastic. So let's up that to, I'm going to put three on that one, and we'll see how that one goes. Okay, so that was T to glass box. Uh, right next to it, we have Metro Line 8 with no people on it. So let's turn that one on and see where that one goes. So that splits off on a separate line, comes parallel to this line, then verges off. Goes past a similar area, so maybe a stop this end. Uh, joins up to our courthouse, they call, and stops there. Oh, okay, even though it comes all the way around to this underground one. Okay, well, that's something that needs to be fixed, isn't it? Um, so let us add another stop over here first. We've got this stop here, but I think if we pop this one... Actually, do we need another stop in there? I think if you're going to come from up here to here, you're going to take this one, the line we've just done, rather than this line. But I think this definitely, we could have a stop right here. Look, there's a load of people that want to come there. So how about we do that? How about we add this, loops around there, and then comes up here? I think that'll be good. Let's get above ground and take a peek into here. Yeah, something along... Oh, there's a fence there, isn't there? We've got a big parking lot here. If I could squeeze it in, there's not a fence there, is there? If I could squeeze it in there, I can. It's going to destroy whatever that is, a path. Well, let's try not to destroy the path. Let's turn off that. There we go. I think the path was far enough away for it not to be a problem. It, but that tree wasn't, apparently. Let's grab that tree. There we go. Let's grab that tree. There we go. Excellent. That's good. That is right opposite. Uh, I want a crossing there. So let's go back to our... Uh, network multi-tool, no, node controller. We're going to add a node there. There we go. It's now a crossing. And there's a bus stop right there. There are a lot of cars coming and going. So we're going to make that a crossing with the traffic light. So this is what I'm looking for. There we go. Excellent. That'll be good. Right, let's get that hooked in. There we go. So that's all hooked up. So I'm going to grab this stop here and drag it all the way down here, which is where it should have been going in the first place. And then we're going to add a couple of stops here. There we go. One in that direction. And come on, one in that direction. And then where we took the stop from, we'll add a couple of stops there in each direction. And then that will be bypassing that because we've got this one here. And then straight back into t Rangela Station. So that is also going from T to Glass. But what I'm going to call that one instead is that is also going to the Basketball Arena which is by Maple Garden. So we'll call that T2 Maple. 
There we go. Excellent. And then we've got one on there. I'm going to up that to three as well. And let's just maybe keep an eye on these stops here for a second. See whether anybody wants to start jumping on this metro. Yeah, we're slowly getting some more people on here. I'm thinking actually, unless there's a sporting event going on, it's probably not going to get that busy. I'm going to pop that down to two. And I think that'll be all right. Right, let's check out our next line. Okay, that was T to Maple. We'll turn that one off. Uh, line 9 somewhere else. Line 10 has no people on it. Okay, let's turn that one on. We're going to adjust the color. There we go. We'll just make that one a light blue. Right, so let's follow this one and see where that goes. So that comes from here. Comes all the way out, all the way around to our airport. Which also seems to not be having many people coming in. Hmm... Okay, all right, I'm going to leave that one because I've got something else in mind that I want to do in a moment. Um, so that was line 10, wasn't it? How many trains we got on there? Two or two metros. Yeah, let's rename that one then. So that's going from glass to met tripolitan, metipolitan. Yeah, I'm going to change it to that. <laughs> I'm sure we had something like that before, but I can't remember. So that was number 10. So that is T to Demetipolitan. Nah, I don't like it. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? Let's go back to what it was before. Metropolitan. There we go. Excellent. Okay, and I'm going to leave that at two, and we'll talk about that one in a moment. Okay, next is 11. Um, so let's just change the color on that to something else. There we go. So that one starts here. Goes out on another line, shoots all the way out to this stop, which isn't connected. Um, so we'll connect that up. And then it comes all the way over here to our new area, Primrose T Hill. And then it goes all the way down over here to our uh, Pavarotti Opera House, which was mentioned, Pavarotti Opera House. I think that's how you'd spell his name. We're going to go with that. That was some excellent suggestions for that one. Just adjusted that. It is Pavarotti. There we go. Pavarotti. Opera House. Thank you for that name suggestion. Also, this was pretty... Um, <laughs> I would say split opinion on having this right next to here. But as I said, uh, when I built this, they've got extra insulation to uh, keep away the sound of the very infrequent metro that comes along here. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, considering that comes over to somewhere that is pretty popular, I would expect to see more people using this, but unfortunately, we don't. So I think what we'll do with that line is we'll leave it as it is, because um, we've got all the connections that we need in there at the moment. And then when we get this area built up and this one connected, we'll probably get a lot more people using it. But we shall name that one, which is T to Pavarotti. I feel like there should be two T's in there. Do you know what there is? There's two T's in there. Pavarotti. There we go. T to Pavarotti, which means I also need to come over here. Do, 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 do. And add an extra T into this. Pavarotti. Ah, oh, we're going to spell somebody's name slightly incorrectly for comedy effect. Let's spell it right. Okay, excellent. So <laughs> that made sense in my brain. I think you know what I mean. Right, so let's jump back into here. So these have all changed order, which is very handy. So that one's done. All the ones that are renamed is done. Metro Line 12 has got tons of people on there. Let's color that one so we can see it and follow where that goes so that comes out here and has a stop over in our new area which is fantastic it then skims all the way around the outside and has a stop in sugar cube square brilliant and then comes all the way into our glass box uh, station as well excellent so i'm going to call that one the sugar cube line that's got 399 oh we've got a power problem and we've got all tons of people so loads over here um, how many have we got on this one? Zero, zero, and then it said we had 500 or something somewhere else as well. Let's go back to this again. T to sugar cube. So 500 there. Where's the 482? Ah, down here. Okay, we definitely need more metro on here. I mean, I think even doubling it might not be enough. Let's double it for now. 
run that for a bit and see whether they can just take care of all of those yeah there we go a minute or two later we're keeping track of all these people and they are moving on which is excellent that's good so that was tea sugar cube uh, tea to sugar cube yeah that was it um so all of these are named are any other of these let's have a look in here so one isn't nine isn't so that is all the ones that come out of here excellent let's light these all up again cool so it's only t to metropolitan this blue one that isn't working now there we go look we can see there's all these other lines are now picking up lots of people now the other thing that seems to be an issue oh we've got some night time is people don't seem to be walking down and getting on here look nobody's getting in this way which is a little bit odd and nobody seems to be coming out this way either and i'm wondering whether it's something to do with this one u road going around the outside i know it's not the station needing to be reset because i've reset it so many times so what is this road that's going around here it's a yeah two direction normal sort of road i'm gonna break a load of things which is a little bit annoying um or am I? Oh, actually, I'm not because of the width of this one is the same as the one you rode. Oh, thank goodness for that. But it was only one U. Oh, that's much better. So let's upgrade that. And this one down here, is this also this uh, two lane, two way with no parking? So this is a normal road. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade it anyway, just because of the issues we've got so let's do that and we'll do it down here we'll turn off collision thank you for that and we'll leave collision off for that and that and hopefully that is going to fix it let's put collision back on before we forget so maybe let's just keep our eyes on here and see whether we see people heading down into the metro station at all yeah, still no people coming and going up and down the ladders, the ladders, the steps, getting off the uh, metro here and still zero people. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to take the drastic step of just deleting this thing and hooking it back up again. Hopefully that is not too difficult. And there we go. It's instantly fixed it. Look, there's people now coming down the stairs. Look at that. All the way down to the bottom here, queuing up for their metro trains. That is exactly what I was expecting to see with this thing. I want to see this as the bustling hub of this area with all of the bills that we've got going on around here. I want it rammed with people, rammed with metros coming and going. This is fantastic. Oh man, this is brilliant. You can see ones getting off of the metro down the bottom, coming up the stairs and leaving. Some are coming up the stairs and then waiting for another metro. So they're all switching over, getting on different lines. This is exactly what I wanted to see with this. Let's just move over here a little bit as the sun comes up. There we go. Look at how many people are using this. So this probably means that I'm going to have to adjust some of the lines a little bit to make sure we've got enough metro trains to cover all this new usage brilliant okay so let's check out how many people are using this thing now uh, what do you have a guess have a guess before i click on it how many people do you think we've got coming through this on a weekly basis Write your answers in the comments now. I'm going to guess... Oh, I don't know. I reckon over a 1,000. 1,100? 1,100. Let's have a look. See what it is. 1,376. No way. 
that is nuts and it, there's so many people coming out now and probably crossing over it's causing traffic and things we'll, we'll get to that another time i think um but let's have a look at our metro oh mama so if we line it by line name so t to sugar cube 525 there is not enough oh there is just about enough to keep up with that yeah no that's so that's uh, oh fine <laughs> that's so fine okay we'll, we won't change that t to pavarotti uh, we've got five on there and there's not that many people so we're going to drop that one down to three i think it's plenty t to metropolitan so that is our airport we've got two on there and they are not keeping up with that wow that is absolutely nuts now i guess that's the airport one look at that that is amazing uh, what is our actual and now our airport's working properly as well oh that is really interesting okay excellent well let's um up that 700 oh my goodness seven is the most we can have on there we're going to just put seven on there keep up with that one that is great maple let's have a look probably i reckon could do with up in that to three so let's do that t to glass box we've only got three on here and that is getting pretty busy over here on the midway stop okay that's interesting um, so that's a stop that we added in that we didn't have before. So that's good. I'm going to put... I'm going to put five, which I think will be plenty. And then T to Dean Square. What have we got going on there? Not so many on there. And we've got two running... Oh, that's this little section over here, isn't it? I'll leave it with two, just so people don't have to wait so long to get from one to the other. But that is absolutely amazing. I'm so pleased with so many passengers on there. So what does that compare to what we had at the beginning? Okay, so maybe we can pop this up on the screen to the side. At the beginning, we had one line with 298, one line with 116, one line with 10, and one line with 416. And then we had five lines with zero, one, two, three, four lines with zero. So that's a total of 830. But now, as we look at this, how many people have we got using it? Well, the figures are increasing as I'm doing this, but when I added them up, it was 1,865. That is 1,000 extra people a week using our metro and coming off of the road. That is just absolutely brilliant. And I also wanted to check uh, my cargo import. Yeah, it's still going down, which is fantastic. Uh, I wanted to go back and check my train setups as well. So let's have a look over here. Not that many people here and the trains are filling up. That's that's probably about as much as I would normally expect to see there. Let's check the other side. Yeah, again, about the same here and the trains are filling up, which is great. Uh, let's check our train station that we got set up over here. Allow intercity trains. I'm not expecting a ton of people to be using this just yet until we add more connections to other places in our city. But look at this. It's nuts. I'll take a screenshot of that. Now we've got so many people able to get over here. This is just going... Whoa, two planes taking off at exactly the same time. Oh, there's two on top of each other there as well. Oh, or is there three? I think there's three all stuck in that spot there. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. And I thought just to test things out over here with our multi-platform end station, I just put a little path over the top like this. Um, I've run it along the back there so they can get in that way. And then straight over the river here to our other build near to our tarantula metro station and you can see people are starting now to come over here and queue up for the train so i think this will start getting some more use as well and then definitely when we start building all of this up it is going to be super busy like this our metro station is now up to over 2,000 people using it and yeah this is very very cool so what do you think of these fixes? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the next video on the screen. Tomorrow we will be here with our vanilla city in the snow, Antarctica, and then we'll alternate back to our modded city again. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.